are so good as, as Tivoli Gardens been this season. Well, let's take a look at the starting lineup for Mount Pleasant. Shaquan Davis, of course, is in goal. And uh, in front of him, Sile McCullough, Fitzroy Cummings, Melvin Duxley, Shaquille Tyre, Kimoni Bailey back in the starting lineup. Of course, Shaquille Bradford, who's been with them uh, for a couple of weeks from Harbour View, Nathaniel James, Romeo Guthrie, uh, Demario Phillips, and Daniel Green completing the starting lineup for the Theodore Whitmore coach squad. Yeah, I know Devontae Campbell in it was really good in the last game, but picked up a knock, obviously, has not recovered. Bailey uh, is back in there as the starting and also had a lot of a good form at the beginning of the season. He'll be looking to rediscover that and what a game uh, he would pick if he were to do that today. Barrington Price is out injured for Tivoli Garden, so, you know, it could be an issue for them. Diego Houghton, of course, remains between the sticks. Penny Cook, Brown and Alton Lewis who's in his new sweeper role is a part of the back three let's complete the lineup with Nelson Garnett Justin Dunn Nathan Thomas Lennox Russell Keno Simpson and of course Shaquille Jones in this Jerome Wade starting lineup yeah no surprise 3-4-3 three, three is what they're looking full time score Mount Pleasant 1 Tivoli Gardens 0 Full match highlights then, and yeah, Okita Nicholson in charge of this one. Mount Pleasant driving forward there at home. The first half wasn't very exciting. Lots of mid mid midfield play and miscued shots. Nathaniel James on that occasion, the guilty party driving forward again. This one now, Kimoni Bailey, well blocked, and really cancelling out each other in the middle of the park in the first 45. Were these two, and no goals in it as well. This. Shaquille Bradford getting into the box and a strike there which came off Morris' heel and it was easily shut down from Tivoli Gardens putting bodies on the line. Then this moment, a penalty. Okita Nicholson pointing to the spot in the second half. Said it came off the hand of Fitzroy Cummins. It certainly didn't and maybe Justice Dunn as Justin Dunn had his penalty saved by Shaquan Davis, a brilliant save with the left hand by Davis. The Mount Pleasant bench were off it on its feet. Big moment for them, and as I said, probably deserved considering it shouldn't have been a penalty in the first place. Then this shot from distance, Davis made it look spectacular, but it was pretty routine for a keeper of his quality. Odin Pennicook from distance, who has surprised so far this season in scoring three, maybe thought he could get even more expressive. Then Aubrey in the wide area, trailing this one across. And Richard Brown was there to say no, no, no to Shaquille Bradford. Until this moment. From the dead ball, Demara Phillips, as he does so many times, and Sule McCalla. The captain, the fantastic one, rising to the occasion and directing it into the roof of the net. Five goals on the season for Sule Makala. Wow. And all of them at critical times, four critical points to gain critical results. 1 0 Plout Mount Pleasant yet again. They have done the double Mount Pleasant, both the Bob Marley score lines, two shots on target from 10 attempts for Mount Pleasant, the same in terms of on target from Tivoli Gardens, but just the four attempts. There are some 27 fouls between the two, 18 fouls for Mount Pleasant and four yellow cards shown by Okita Nicholson. Three corners for Mount Pleasant, Tivoli Gardens, they had a lot of attacking play, eight corners but unable to really penetrate the defence of Mount Pleasant and they came up blank on this afternoon. Majority of the possession to Mount Pleasant and a big three points. Second defeats third and that's it from the Jacks Hall Sports Complex here. Mount Pleasant won, Tivoli Gardens nil. We'll see her from our man of the match, no other than Captain Fantastic, who is with Dwight Jeremiah. Sula, ever so often, every time I come to Jack Saul and do a match, for present plays, I stand before you as man of the match. For me, everybody sees what you do in terms of getting onto the end of the ball and scoring. But I want to dig a little bit inside what goes in your head, on in your head, when these moments arise. Um, these these um, games like these, 
you know, most likely it always comes down to a set piece. And we've been practicing from training that um, during these games that we want to make um, set piece be the decider. And so I normally um, step up from a team. So it's just that something that inside of me like to step up um, in these big moments. And we realize that you do that so well. But you have to be one of the main men in this set play. Is there a strategy for more Pleasant to have players block persons who are coming to you? Because you always seem to find yourself in a lot of this. Well, not necessarily. It's just um, we just practice some runs. And if the ball comes into my um, area, you know, I just try to get on, on it. It was a big game today. Second against third. How important this win is in terms of bragging rights, not just the three points? Um, it's very important. Um, you know, most of all, we want to keep climbing the table. And these games, like, we want to take three points from these games because um, the table is very close at the top. When we put our money on you, scoring just before the kick game. You, you held up, you helped us to win our money. All the best going forward. All right, thank you. Yeah, there we have.